Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Charles Barkley. Good to see you all again. We glad to be back, man. We missed y'all. And let me tell you, you they didn't say that, fellow. though. Those were my arms. Was not. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Was not, were not, is not. Thank you, Alex. Those were his arms, and it was his dress. Unfortunately, those are my boobs. <laughs> those are your boobs, too. <laughs> That's bad, dude. 34 double D. Oh, back and ready to go. Yeah. Right. So what a, what a strange way uh, for this day to start in Orlando. Uh, you had the shoot-around press conference in which Stan Van Gundy said, you know, they've been talking about this for two or three weeks, that he said, yeah, Dwight Howard went to management and said he wants Stan Van Gundy out now let's let's just listen to what happened today <laughs> yeah. and we'll talk about it roll it do you believe that dwight has asked me to be fired yes i know he has so and how do you know it's true i, I was told it was true by people in our uh, management so you know right from the top well I, obviously it'll be a management decision they have to make the decision but but I ain't worried about that. So. Yeah, Stan, we're not worried about that, right? That's what I just said. We're yeah, going to be worried about winning games. Yeah, what's our main concern right now? Jameer. We have to uh, stop Carmelo Anthony and the New York Knicks tonight. And the New York Knicks. That's exactly That's right. That's the plan, right? That is the plan. That's what yeah. I just said. Is Dave Ping here today, the guy who started this BS? He's, I don't see Ping here. Me but, neither. Uh, are you guys done with uh, me? Yeah. Yeah. That's all. We can talk to him now. All right. <laughs> Jameer. Stan just said that you wanted him fired. I said that? No, that's what Stan said. Who did I say that to? According to what? I don't know. I, I'm just telling you. What I'm, I'm asking you, since you guys got so many sources. <laughs> your, your, your coach said he heard it from management. I didn't hear anything. I'm just telling you what And I'm just telling you. As awkward an interview <laughs> situation as can possibly be conceived with the armor. Can, can, he walks up after Stan Van Gundy has said, yeah, look, management told me, Dwight asked. And then he comes up not hearing what Van Gundy had said, and then it's like, you need anything else from me? Awkward. Let me Beyond take belief. this one from here. Well, back everybody's going to get a crack yeah, at it. Yeah, but I, got the, I want to go right for the juggle on this one. If, first of all, I, I don't know. We don't know what's true. It's all conjecture. I don't think Coach Van Gundy should have broke that out right now. And I don't think the White Howard should ask to have his coach fight. But I have a serious problem with somebody in management. If they had a, a private conversation with the White Howard, it should have stayed private. They should not have shared it with Coach Van Gundy. I like Coach Van Gundy. I don't think that was the appropriate time to drop that bombshell, especially on the game day. Like I say, Dwight Howard should not try to get his coach fired. But whoever the scumbag is, if it's true, who had a private conversation, had a private conversation with Dwight Howard to leak that to Coach Van Gundy, that's just a punk-ass move, in my opinion. Okay, that's uh, quite the first crack at it. Okay, Kenny, go ahead. <clears throat> I get what you're saying, but which part? Why, but about the private conversation, but the, it was always private until Van Gundy says it to the media. No, but so if, he didn't if, have if, to no, say it. No, I said the guy had a private wait, conversation. Can I get? Wait, can I get my? Okay, I'm going to get three weeks. I'll get my crack. I'm, I'm getting to where I'm going, but it's going to take me a second. So now, if he doesn't have to address it. At all. Why does he have to address it? That's Otis Smith's job to address that. Is, is, is this coach being fired? He's the only one who fires and hires is the general manager. That's Otis Smith's job. Listen, I coach this team. Players are not going to like me. They're going to want me to be here, not going to be, depending on how the ball bounces sometimes. That's what coaching's all about. Next question. To me, that's what goes on. But I don't understand, Shaq, the, the relevance of how him bringing it out now either. I don't know what, what is he accomplishing by saying it to the media. I don't understand what's being accomplished. First of all, private conversations should never be brought public. I think it was a Bush League move by Stan Van Gundy, really, personally. First of all, he's lost his team forever now. That right there can never be repaired. You threw your main guy under the bus. Even if you guys did have a terrible relationship, now it's, it, it's even worse. It cannot be repaired. And even if they did have that conversation, I think it was the right conversation to have. Let me tell you why. Players respect guys with proven resumes. You know, Stan's been there a, a, a while. He's a good coach. But as you know, in this league, good is not good enough. It's all about winning championships. And I think at some times they don't respect his decision-making. What's more of a Bush League move? 
going to management and saying you need to fire this coach it's or, been a coach, done before. or a coach responding to a question about, hey, you're, been, we're hearing this, what do you feel about it? It's been done before. If I'm working in a corporation and I'm one of the leaders and I'm talking to the head prison guy and you guys trusting me, it's been done before behind closed doors. Like, hey, and don't we don't Kenny know how here. it was said. Because we don't, we don't know if Otis Smith said, hey, if, the, if, no, if this could have before, oh, 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 if this could have done before, me, first of all, it, trust it, me, it's been has been done before, but it is Bush League for them to share that with Stan Van Gundy. So what they Thank should have you. done? They don't have to share that with him. They don't have to, they share, don't have to share that. Well, I, I put it like this. Kenny, let me ask you I'm a question. Put it like this. If I'm the general manager, somebody comes to me and, say, and I ask them a question no. and say, listen, I'm going to say, Shaq, do you want him here? Do you really want him in? And you go, nah, not really. And then I'm going to go, you know what, coach? The reason why you're not going to be on, here on, is because on, our big guy don't uh, want you here. On. I'm going to let that, if, and we're going to make that known. If, it's not okay. going to be any Our, faking and fun on. going if, on. If, we're going to let if, it be known. If Ernie or myself went to David Levy and said, we want Kenny fired. Then David Levy should come talk to me and say, y'all said that. Exactly. No, see, I don't believe he that. He should say that. Be and then I'm going to come have a conversation work, with you. Because we I'm can't have a work together. together. No, but I'm going to have no, a no, conversation with you. Because I'm, I'm saying, Ernie. Ernie. But, 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 but check, I agree with you what you said. He can't, as much as I like Coach Van Gundy, he done lost that team. But listen, me and you could never work together again but I'm, if I went behind your back right, to listen. the balls and say fire. But I'm going to say this, too. Last thing. I'm never going to go on the air and say, hey, y'all, just to let y'all know, Ernie and Chuck want me fired. I'm not going to do that. Well, well, Sam Van was wrong. To David Levy's credit, he hasn't had that conversation. And you better <laughs> hope he <laughs> don't. <laughs> and you better hope he don't. Hey, because you, hey, you in the road, bro. Hey, I know the skeletons in your closet. Back with more in a minute here on As Green Week Continues. Uh, <laughs> I know some skeletons. Ain't nobody getting fired around here. Uh, where are we? I go, we go. <laughs> That's right. We all leave it. The Sprint Halftime Report is brought to you by Sprint. The NBA.